a brand new study which was just published looked at the contents of a certain medical procedure which shall not be named. And in this study, the authors claim to have found artificial nanostructures, which they refer to as self-assembling nanostructures, which look like this. Now, these were only found in the mRNA containing ones and the shapes range from crystals, filaments, spirals, all the way to nanotubes. They found that the shape of these changed over time and were particularly responsive to external electromagnetic fields. But before you get excited, there are some serious problems with this study. First up, there's no publicly available ORCID record for this researcher, so we don't know if she's published anything in the past and what training she has. Next, she's a gynecologist, and whilst that might not necessarily be a problem, we really want this study being done by molecular biologists who have the resources and the tools at their disposal to be able to make sure this was a valid study. Next up, the lab isn't registered from anywhere that I can see, and therefore we have no way of knowing that it's actually a sterile environment. What this means is that the things that we're looking at right here could simply be artifacts. With that in mind, whilst I'm not a scientist, I think we have to be very, very cautious about these results. But even if we discard the study as bunk, you might not know that there are numerous other accounts. We're talking like more than 40 or 50 individual accounts of scientists with genuine expertise in the field who have found something very similar. They found 3D nanostructures in the shots and some authors have speculated or said that they closely resemble carbon nanofibers and might be graphene oxide. Since graphene oxide was definitely not on the ingredients list, you might be wondering what the hell it was doing in there. And you might be amazed to hear what the science actually says about this. Let's just say that reality is much stranger than fiction these days. And if you don't believe me, just check this out. It turns out that scientists have been working with graphene oxide for a very long time, particularly in the context of micro and nano robots. Now, you might be wondering, what are micro and nano robots? Well, these are basically tiny little machines, pieces of technology. They're invisible to the naked eye. You cannot see this. Uh, but these things can be implanted into the body, either by injection, inhalation, or even through the gut. Now, they can be programmed to achieve certain effects. Uh, this can be on organs, on tissues, or even specific cells. So for drug delivery, for altering gene expression, they have to be driven or powered by some kind of external energy source. Um, this can be body heat, it can be UV light, but a lot of the research is looking at external magnetic fields to power these things. And they can be used as what are called biosensors. So they can receive information um, from external sources or from internal sources, and then they can transmit that information. Think of it a little bit like a chip or like a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, Wi-Fi router, which is in the cells and, a, and it can literally um, absorb radiation and transmit information to external sources as well. And on this topic, you can see from this paper, these researchers recently developed a remote controlled probe, which was able to target specific cells. And it just so happens that graphene oxide is one of the key materials that they use for these nano type robots. The field of research is more widely known as nanorobotics. It forms the basis of what is now called the Internet of Bio Nano Things. You think of this as essentially a form of transhumanism. The Internet of Bio Nano Things is envisioned to be a heterogeneous network of nanoscale and biological devices, so-called bio nano things, communicating via non-conventional means. So this is molecular communications in non-conventional environments, e.g inside the human body. Hmm. The main objective of this emerging networking framework is to enable direct and seamless interaction with biological systems for accurate sensing and control of their dynamics in real time. That means using nano robots to control living systems, i.e. the human body. Okay. Of course, this new frontier of technology has been framed as a medical breakthrough which will revolutionize treatment of chronic disease. However, it's important to realize that this hasn't just garnered interest from within the medical field. In fact, the key players who are funding this research include the likes of DARPA and other military intelligence agencies. 
And when you hear what they want to use it for, well, that's where I'm going to end this video on this platform. Like I said, catch me on Rumble for the rest. And trust me, you do not want to miss this story.